lost control almost immediately of the car. The highway is like almost worse than the side roads, uh, which isn't normal. Usually they have this like loud. It is a absolute pigsty. I'm going 33 miles an hour and I feel like I'm going too fast. So obviously the guys with like trucks and stuff are flying right by me, but uh, we, Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Grubs, guys. Um, what's up? Piece of a car fell off. Uh, yep. Today is a boat day, folks, and uh, it's a special boat day. It's my my second day uh, actually working on the new boat. I gotta actually get over here. <laughs> it's a disaster. Luckily, I'm like the only one around in my quadrant. Unless somebody comes to pass me soon. So like if I do spin out, I could just have fun. Like when I spun out earlier, it was just like, beep, 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 beep. Just like, you know, sliding, having fun. Because nobody was around me, but still it was like, oh boy, this is a disaster. Anyways, I'm gonna get going and, uh, you know, try and get to the boat safely. Well, first thing uh, was getting the paint ready. So we had to mix that paint up real good. I poured some into a cup for the brush uh, using a throwaway brush and then uh, some in with the roller. And the roller really helped save time, folks. And uh, then I was off to races on uh, what was and will probably always be one of the hardest painting jobs uh, of my life. It's, uh, you know, already very difficult to paint a ceiling uh, with gravity working against you but painting a ceiling while in the most cramped spaces wires uh, engines uh, super important stuff everywhere tubes like you, poop boxes uh, you, you just it's very 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 difficult but we had to get it done we had fire retardant paint here that we needed to get all over the ceiling of this uh, very small cramped engine room. So uh, cap got a little bit done one day. I came in and did a little bit uh, second day and this is the third and final day uh, working on the ceiling. There's still a, a bit to get done painted here in the engine room. Uh, probably get that done this week. We actually have some painting on the outside of the boat to get done this week. This folks is our new boat. We are uh, stoked about this thing. And um, you can already make some bookings if you'd like. Uh, we're accepting bookings for the early spring um, and then obviously into the rest of the year. This, uh, this boat's gonna hold 18 people and um, a little bit later in the video, I, uh, I'll give you some of a B-roll tour so folks, uh, enjoy watching me uh, squeeze into these tiny little spaces for a little bit longer. This was uh, seriously the toughest paint job of my life. Not the biggest, uh, you know, the biggest I've ever done was the Baldwin Bar Mansion that I did right at the beginning of COVID. That was a ton of painting. I was in there for weeks, uh, but this ceiling was just, it's, it left me bruised the next day. I didn't even realize like what had hurt me so much. And then I did realize that it was uh, all the bending over pipes and backwards over wires and smashing myself in the head with, uh, you know, things that are sticking out all over the place and uh, scraping my hand. I was beat up the next day. And um, it took me a minute to realize what had happened. This is, uh, this is crazy. We're gonna continue.
ladies and gents. Uh, we've been down there since like 10 a.m. It's a little after 2. Pretty much finished painting uh, a ton of the work that needed to be done. So basically at this point, um, you know, we still got a lot of work to do, but today what we did was uh, we used fire retardant paint and that's what you saw me uh, down there doing is painting the whole um, ceiling of the engine room. Basically playing twister uh, and painting at the same time. It is a giant pain in the ass as you guys saw. But it's something that needs to be done on the boat to get her certified so she can get out there uh, on the water. We are pumped about this thing. This is from uh, 1978, this boat. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Guys, if you have any questions about the boat, uh, let me know. But we got a new boat, and that's uh, that's the crazy big news we have. The Wise Kraken Charters has a brand new boat. Uh, we're going to be doing about 18 people on here, as you guys can see. It's a full walk around. Um, so get in touch with the cat. Set up some dates for this year. This is going to fill up quick, I'm sure. So we'll talk a little more on the way home. Folks, that, uh, that about sums it up for today. We are all done. I just uh, took off, about to head home. Awesome day. Got a lot done in the boat today. A lot of painting done. It's just, it's uh, the work is endless. We're gonna be working on that boat till probably April, and then we're gonna be putting that boat in the water. Um, after we take it out of the water, we're gonna be putting it back in the water. What do you think about that? Uh, and then we'll do a, a few things on the Laura Ann. The new boat is, uh, Oh shit, we got a big truck coming. Shit. Um, so the, the new boat is actually named after Cap's daughter. So it's gonna be called the Stella C. Um, and uh, he is already accepting bookings, so uh, make sure you check out Wise Kraken Charters. Always link down below. If you need Cap's number or anything, Give me a shout, it is always best to text him. But um, like I said, we are taking booking. So if you guys wanna get booked up for the spring and the fall and the summer, I would do so as soon as possible. We're gonna book up quick. We booked up really fast last year for Tatog. We were booked before Tog season even started. So if you wanna come out togging with us, if you wanna come out fluking with us, I would get on it right now. Um, and uh, we'll do a few more videos um, on the boat. If you guys liked today's you know, video, I just kind of really wanted to show you guys the new boat, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing uh, right now. Obviously, there isn't a lot of fishing right now, for me at least. Uh, you know, We have been doing our ice fishing stuff and whatnot, but on a regular basis, on a work basis, it's not so much fishing. Um, tomorrow, we got a, tomorrow we're working out, out at Crafty. Um, and I do have an idea. I think every Wednesday I might film a video at Crafty doing, um, you know, talking about a rod or a reel or something that we have in the shop, talking to you guys about it, getting your opinions on it, and giving you our opinions on it. Uh, maybe talk to a few guys at the shop. And, you know, we can, we can kind of make it like a shop day Wednesday, almost like our review Wednesday. Um, and, and you know just do it at the shop but thanks thanks for tuning in guys um, you know gotta gotta try and get more videos out for you I know I've been slacking lately life is uh, you know extremely 
different right now. And obviously the winter time for me is a lot different. But uh, guys, uh, you know, this is gonna be a crazy year. As you guys saw, we're working with Catchco now. We got a lot coming for you. So uh, stay tuned, we'll catch you on the next one. Fish on. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.